so see I'm not brushing anywhere around here and just yeah like that okay now that that's done make a new layer control shift alt e filter blur gaussian blur and set it to 250.0 and select ok and set it to overlay and lower the opacity to 50 now make a new layer control shift alt e which is image apply image if you guys didn't know I should have said that in the beginning but hopefully you would have figured it out by now and do a text a text okay now and then white you're gonna do a text Eighteen and twenty four is a good size. Which I'm using. And the AA, which is right here. I don't know what that means. Anti aliasing, whatever. Just put that to smooth. And these are all my texts. I mean all my fonts. I'll tell you where I got those after the video as well as render and you're just gonna brush in the opposite lower corner of what your sig I mean your where your render is at so if your render is here you're just gonna text here okay now seeing how I'm vicious that's me just gonna put it somewhere around here like right there and I'm gonna set it to overlay and to 50 or maybe lower 45 and I'm gonna set it to a spot it's kinda dark right there so all I'm gonna do is just bring up the opacity maybe or I'm, I'm gonna still leave it at 45 and just do an outer glow but still you don't want it so I'm just gonna put the the outer glow at 50 and select a silverish grayish white and just maybe bring up the opacity a bit so you could just make out the letters. You don't want you don't want the sig to be I mean you don't want the the main focal point which is the head and everything around it to be distracted from your text. So you just wanna make it so you can barely see it. Just mess with the size and the spread just a bit. And just lower the opacity. Okay. And that looks good like that. Now make a new layer. Image apply image or control shift alt E. Go to filter sharpen sharpen. And do a border if you don't know how to select your marquee tool go like that hold um, left click and go all the way across the screen and right click and do stroke two pixels and black for the better effect click OK and when that's done You're going to control D to deselect, and yeah, as you can see, it looks a lot better. Go to File, Save for Web. If you save through image already, that is just a waste of time. You do not lose any effect doing it this way. 
as long as you save it as the settings I tell you to save it as which is PNG-24 and make sure the transparency is selected and click save save it to what you want then it's just going to select that and just do 2 and save and make sure you save as a PSD because there's many times where I want to change something just go to save as and save it wherever you want and now for the renders open it to finish lagging and you're going to need WinRAR for this for the fonts and the render packs and the render packs is going through mega uploads so it'll take um, about two to three days if you don't have a account because if you download a file over 200 you over 200 megabytes you have to wait four to six hours and yeah so just go to planet renders dot net and register and go to the forms when you get there go to the forms and when you register put me as your refer referrer my name is vicious v i c i o u s right there and go when you're done registering go to the gfx corner free resources um render packs and it says 4000 plus renders right here and there's nine packs t total and as i said it'll take four to it'll take two to three days to download all of them okay now that i told you where those are go to cats dot cd k a t z dot cd and in the search search form type font pack with no s at the end just font pack and it says Bezel's Goliath font pack 4.0 it comes with 5031 true type fonts well now that everything's done if you don't have Romar just go to download.com and type Romar and just download it and that's it so hope you like my tutorial and yeah have fun